like I said, you're going to want the foundation of your wardrobe, right? So I wonder if I should I just take it and I'll bring it up. I'll, I'll bring it to you. One second. What I have shown to you guys right now is, uh, so smiling today, look at you. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm here on Vera Shop, you know, so gotta be smiling. Um, a pair of light wash denim. I'm, I'm uh, blah, 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 showcasing some to you right now. These are from Nudie Jeans. So basically, like, you want pieces that are going to go with everything. You want things that are going to essentially work as that foundational piece of the wardrobe. So for instance, just a pair of, get this out of here, get this out of here so I can see myself. <clears throat> I mean, light wash denim, I, mean, I'm not gonna, I can put them on for you, but essentially like, it'll work even with this basic tee right here, right? So not only will it work with a basic tee, it'll work with sweaters, it'll work with sweatshirts it'll work with jackets especially um, when you start to refine your style and um, figure out things that are more important to you uh, a lot of everybody needs a pair of light wash denim right it's pretty pretty self-explanatory pretty mandatory um, so yeah that's I would say that is the the essential first step of building your your wardrobe or finding your personal style is having a foundation that will work with literally everything going forward. Whether that be you get more into uh, more designer pieces or you go more fast fashion or if you like to mix things with vintage, um, a good foundation is gonna work for everything. So if there's any questions about that or like finding brands, um, check in here because you know, Everything in here is pretty much foundational pieces or at least things that have worked for me. Um, now, moving forward, the next thing that I think is most important, this is where you start having fun, right? This is where you start finding inspiration. This is where you start to um, figure out what you like, you know, what kind of makes you tick. For me personally, this is going to be different for everybody. What was that? Uh, men, women, whatever their, whatever pronouns you go by. Um, this is going to be, no, I don't know what that was. I'm pretty sure that was my sister's boyfriend or something like that. Um, I wish my cat could talk. Anyways, you're ruining my speech, my TED talk. I'm just kidding, keep, keep it coming. Um, what was I saying? Inspiration. Different. What's different? Inspo. There you go. Got you. Uh, yeah. So inspiration. So this is where you start having fun, right? This is where you start finding things that you enjoy, things that kind of like make you tick. For me personally, um, my inspiration comes from everything vintage. You know, so I like I grew up on vintage. When I was going to like first grade, I remember my parents would make me listen to oldies in the car. You know, like not like oldies as in like oh Guns N' Roses or like ACDC. Obviously, they made me listen to these too. But I was growing up listening to like the Temptations or like the Dell Vikings, like extremely like like doo wop era. You know what I mean? Like that's my favorite genre of music. So I gravitate towards anything kind of like in that era, whether it be cars, clothes, music, all that stuff, jewelry. Um, a lot of that stuff, a lot of my inspiration comes from there. I just think clothes back then were so cool. And I think the fits were super cool. Um, and people were shorter back then, so things seemed to fit me better. <laughs> seemed to fit me better. Um, but yeah, this could be for anybody. And you can find inspiration anywhere you want. Instagram is a great place to find inspiration. Pinterest is a great place to find inspiration. If you like brands and if you like the clothes um, that you see maybe in like magazines or stores, if you go to the, the brand website, typically they will always have a lookbook or some type of like campaign that you can get inspiration from as well. So there are so many different avenues for you, whether you are, like I said, man, woman, whatever pronoun that you go by. Um, there's inspiration everywhere. Um, and that is how you start to kind of like build that little style DNA um, to get out there. So like for instance, 
here's a good example. I was talking about the uh, the uh, light washed denim that we have right here. You know, when you start getting a little bit more developed, when you start getting inspiration, like then you maybe find light washed denim like this, you know? So it has a little bit more of like that vintage distressing on it. It has patchwork and stuff like that. So it's more in line with kind of what I'm inspired by. And it also gives the eye and the outfit just a little bit more of like a different dimension, different look to it, you know what I mean? So you got some still light wash denim, but it has that little personal flair to it that makes it your own. Okay, next, next is where, next is where you start to uh, develop and kind of like refine things. So I'm gonna show you some things that have helped me. So this is kind of like step three, stage three of your style development is going, actually, how do you, do you guys hold your threes like this or do you three like this or do you three like this? There's three different ways to do it. Um, yeah, so this is where you kind of like develop your own little style of DNA. This is where I was talking about where you, um, where you take that inspiration and you turn it into what you want your style to turn out to be. So like I said, I'm inspired by very vintage pieces, but I also love to mix um, more modern pieces into my wardrobe. Like for example, let me let me take you. Should I take you to this part of the closet or should I take you to that part of the closet? I think would be better. I'm gonna take you to this. I'm gonna take you to this one first and then we'll go to that one. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Got some movement in the live stream as well. Okay. Now, when we're talking about starting to refine things, this is where you start mixing and matching. This is where you start coming up with your own looks with your own kind of, uh, you know, you're experimenting, you're trying to find things that you like, you're trying to find things that you love. And this is where you have fun. So for instance, let's go with, let's go with this right here, right? So this piece is actually from Verishop. However, it's sold out. Um, but it's from the brand Banks Journal. I talked about this in a few live streams in the past. But it's actually from uh, it's from here, but I have some other pieces that you guys can check out as well that I think you will like. Let me just show them for you. Like this one right here. Oh, wait. Nope, sorry, hold on. This is like the closest one I could find.